after a political shockwave that some Malaysians still can't believe. They're hoping their new prime minister will bring profound change to the country. We're calling him a new prime minister, but 92-year-old Mahathir Mohamad took the oath of office just one day after voters swept his opposition coalition to power in a very unexpected victory. Now, his win was fueled by anger over a major financial scandal involving his opponent, the previous prime minister, Najib Razak. Christy Lou Stout looks at the drama that unfolded over the last 24 hours. Celebrations across Malaysia as a new political era dawns after a shock result in the national elections. Mahathir Mohamed claimed victory after beating all the odds to oust Najib Razak and the coalition party which ruled Malaysia for over six decades. After the result was announced, Mahathir accused Najib of trying to cling to power. Now it is likely that there will be some hanky-panky being done in order to frustrate the wishes of the people. But it wasn't enough to deny the will of the people and a historic electoral triumph. At 92 years old, this makes Mahathir the world's oldest leader. It's a dramatic political comeback for Mahathir, who previously ruled Malaysia with an iron fist for 22 years and was credited with turning the country into a major trading and economic force. I expect that Mahathir will be a man in a hurry trying to bring about economic and political reforms that put Malaysia on the map in a positive way. Mahathir came out of retirement to fight his former protege, Najib, telling CNN in 2016 that the leader was turning Malaysia into a police state. You are under threat all the time. You cannot talk. Uh, if you say something bad about the government, they will call you up. Najib's authoritarian style sent his popularity plunging, and he became the center of a massive corruption scandal after he was accused of stealing hundreds of millions of dollars from his state fund, 1MDB. The U.S. Justice Department even claimed that $30 million of that cash was spent buying jewelry for his wife, Rosma. Najib denies the accusations and has been cleared by the authorities, but now may face a new investigation. Corruption tended to uh, affect the urban voters, educated voters, uh, but it wasn't just about the corruption. It was the sense that, that Najib had shamed the country, so it affected national pride. And at the same time, that the economy, while it has grown, it hasn't trickled down to ordinary Malaysians. The economy will be a key focus for Mahathir as he takes the reins of power as Malaysia faces rising national debt and a higher cost of living. Also on the to-do list will be reviewing a new law outlawing fake news, which critics say will harm free speech. And Mahathir is expected to free his former deputy and political foe, Anwar Ibrahim, a charismatic opposition leader who was serving a jail term for sodomy. Mahathir has promised to hand over power to Amar in a few years, meaning more big changes are ahead for Malaysia. Christy Lustout, CNN.